okay i'm not sure whether those condition types are properly configured but once you configure then it will not allow i think it is not allowing currently so no problem i'll show you how to configure those conditions okay there are a lot of things which are missing maybe that is the reason system is not allowing us to proceed okay anyways let me show you this configuration for material listing and material exclusion so for that you will go to sales and distribution obviously here in the basic functions you will be able to see the folder for material listing and exclusion you can see listing and exclusion if you open it first of all you can activate for a particular sales document type so for example if i'm using order type or if i don't activate this for my order type then the listing and exclusion will not work you can see for listing this is a procedure and for exclusion this is a procedure which is assigned to order type or okay so this is a procedure for or in case of listing and this is a procedure for exclusion in case of document type or so if i go back and try to maintain this you can see maintain the listing and exclusion types before that procedures for maintaining the listing and exclusion here you'll be able to see both the procedures that we have seen so this was for listing and which was for exclusion i think this was for exclusion let's verify once again so for order type or starting with a is my listing and i starting with b is my exclusion so these two procedures are created here okay you can create your procedure here this is include you so if i double click on control data you can see this condition type a001 will allow me to maintain the include you values okay a001 similarly if i go to b001 i will see which condition is allowed for exclusion it is b001 okay so and that is the reason if you remember i used another condition i use y321 that is the reason it has not worked for me so what i need to do is f4 only this two are relevant so for order type so these are yeah. the by default a001 b001 are by default but you can see this starting with y they are created by someone else we can also create see standard sales order type or is assigned to this inclusive list and this exclusive list so that is the reason if this will be only two supported if you want to change you have to create your procedure and you have to assign that to the order type right so okay. you got that okay 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 sir yeah so as of now a001 b001 so if i double click on b001 and if i maintain some material here then it would be considered in my order type or others are not getting considered so if i try again to create a sales order definitely system will throw error that this material is not supported for this particular customer okay i'm just entering this material you can see material code has been excluded so this customer cannot place the order for this particular material if it is included in the exclusion list if you want to create your own what you need to do is simply in this configuration itself okay let me show you the complete new configuration i'll just create a completely new inclusion and exclusion list so you will go to sales and distribution uh, basic functions listing and exclusion activate first of all whether it is activated for our order type or not you have to if you want you can create your own order type i think we already created some zor order type so we need to maintain at that level so for zor for example you can see still standard is activated so what i'll do is i'll create my own so let me create two procedures let's say this is procedure for rech inclusive or in, instead of inclusive let's say list and this is rech exclusion list okay so i created two procedures 
Now within this RECHIN, I can use the condition. I have to tell the system which condition to use. So before I come to the conditions, I need to create those conditions. Let's come out. Okay. Maintain the listing and exclusion types. This is where you are creating the conditions. So I'm creating a condition, which is let's say RC01 for listing and RC02 for exclusion. Okay, what is my access sequence? So I can take the access sequence again from the standard. I'm taking from the standard. So this is my listing and this is my exclusion if you save it okay even if you want you can create your own access sequence there is option this is where you will be able to create a access sequence maintain the access sequence for listing and exclusions okay now based on this if i go to my order type z o r and instead of this if i want to add my own which is this is my inclusion list and this is my exclusion list Okay, what will happen now is if I try to go to the list, maintenance of list. So here I'll be getting my own options. Okay, you can see RC01, RC02. So if I take RC01, enter and specify what is included for this particular customer. Okay, if I specify that what is included for this customer is trading goods. Other items are not included for this customer, for example. Right? So this will only work when I use sales order type ZOR because my new procedure is only activated for this order type. Okay, so 99 and if I try to create a sales order with any other material, uh, first of all, it is why it is saying no pricing procedure could be determined. Till now it was working. Oh, because I am using ZOR. For ZOR, maybe the document pricing procedure is something else. That is the reason it is not working. So just a minute, let me try to close this and you will see. So you can see document pricing procedure is KD for which configuration is not maintained. So sales document type and I need to maintain the pricing procedure. Sales and distribution, we entered the transaction code here, right? OVKK. RCH copy. So, what is the combination which is missing? KD and one. KD and one. Okay, so if I go to my sales order once again, press enter. Uh, it is still allowing. Let me try to do it once again. So my order type would be Z O R R E C H zero two Z R one. Customer is this one. Let me verify if I'm maintaining it correctly. VB01. So RC01 is listing. This is to create new. I want to display whatever has been created. So there is a combination created for this customer and this material, okay, which should be listed, which means all others should not be allowed. So then it should work. 
so sold to party material trading goods to order quantity let's keep it one it is still allowing so some configuration issue R E C H I N R E C H E X procedure we created maintain the listing R C V one access sequence is fine not required ah we are not maintain the condition type itself. So we created a procedure. In this procedure, we need to tell the system step number one, which condition should be used for exclusion? RC02. Sorry, condition is here. RC02 for exclusion. Same way for inclusion. We need to specify the condition type RC02 one for listing okay now it will work so if i try to create a sales order once again zor this is my customer and if i'm trying to buy this material there should be the error exactly so material trading goods 2 is not listed and therefore not allowed Okay, so this is how not very frequently used, but yes, this is one of the important functionality of SD to create a listing and exclusions. Okay, any questions? Too much for today? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. So okay. Uh, this so condition type we uh, we also have to main, uh, means we can maintain in type of uh, pricing condition type. Is this no, no, no. This has nothing to do with pricing. So, sure, this is nothing okay. to do with pricing. This is a completely different condition. The condition technique is a concept in SD and MM which is used everywhere. Condition is not only for pricing. Okay, okay. Even in the account determination, we have seen the condition, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes. Sir. Okay, then. So, thank you. And now, as I told you, one more session would be required for rebate processing that I am planning together. So, if possible, in this week, otherwise, after Diwali, before we start our module three, I will plan one session. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.